Good morning. Welcome to Bethel Baptist Church. Just a beautiful morning out when this is being taped. The sunshine, just gorgeous. Uh, turn in your Bibles to Hebrews chapter 11. We'll continue on in Hebrews chapter 11 uh, with verse 5 and verse 6 talking about Enoch. Uh, Hebrew, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 5 and verse 6. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Let's have a word of prayer. Lord, help us to seek you and to believe your word, and to have faith in you every day, Lord, that we would walk with thee. Fill me with thy Holy Spirit, Lord. <clears throat> I can't do anything without you, Lord. I just pray that you would empty me of myself and fill me with you, Lord. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> Enoch, please God. <clears throat> Please, uh, Pleasing God by walking by faith daily. So many things bother us here in this world. And we often ask, how is this going to work? I can't do that. Yet God says in Jeremiah chapter 32 and verse 27, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Uh, the name Enoch means dedicated. The seventh generation of Adam one of the sons of Jared, Genesis chapter 5 and verse 18, and father of Methuselah, verse 21. Enoch's dad, Jared, lived to be 962. When Jared had Enoch, he was 162 years old. Things were certainly a lot different then. When you can say that Enoch had relatively a short life, when he had been taken at the age of 365 years of age. His dad outlived him by 435 years. Enoch was 65 years old when he begat Methuselah. And in Genesis chapter 5 and verse 22, the Bible says that Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah 300 years and begat sons and daughters. And in verse 24, the Bible says, And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. He walked with God. The songwriter wrote, It is glory just to walk with him. He was not. Translated over to be with the Lord. Carried over. There was a change. Changed sides. God took him. Only earthly man in the scripture that fits this description besides Elijah. How did he please God? By every day getting up and walking with God. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 6 and verse 9, Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with God. Micah chapter 6 and verse 8, He has showed thee, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of thee but to do justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7, For if we walk by faith, for we walk by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 16 says, And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of God. As God hath said, I will dwell in them, and walk in them, and I will be their God and they shall be my people. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 16. This I send, say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 2. And walk in love, as Christ also hath loved us, and hath given himself for us an offering of sacrifice 
to God for a sweet smelling Savior and walk in love. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 6, as we have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 6, he that saith he abideth in him ought himself also to walk, even as he walked. So we are to walk with God daily. This is why Enoch was taken by faith. He believed that God was going to take him and God took him. He walked 300 years every day with God. And it must have got sweeter every day. According to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, God is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Enoch must have had been one of those that by faith sought God diligently. In the Greek, seek after carefully, to crave, to worship, to search out, to investigate, to inquire, to do all these things, seeking God diligently. And then it says, must believe that he is, that he is. Enoch believed by faith that God is. For how else could he please God but by his faith? Enoch preached prophetic message, messages. Uh, Jude chapter 14, if you take your Bible and turn there. John, John, Jude, and then Revelation. John, or Jude uh, verse 14 and verse 15. A prophetic verse from Enoch. And Enoch also, the seventh son of Adam, prophesied of these sayings, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints. Uh, Enoch knew about the coming of Christ to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. So we see how God used Enoch in such a wonderful way. In the midst of people dying all around him in Enoch's day, he was taken by God, a type of what will take place in the rapture. While the saints are living with death all around them, terror, wars, rumors of wars, pestilence, sin abounding everywhere, God will come. One day, there shall be a shout from heaven. The trump of God shall sound and we will be taken by the Lord into the clouds to ever be with him. As when Enoch, as when Enoch, when he was taken and not found, so shall the saved be taken in the twinkling of an eye. Uh, they were looking all over. They couldn't find Enoch. The people will be looking for us, those that are saved, when we're taken. They'll say, where did they go? Twinkling of an eye, and will not be found by the people. Family, friend, left behind. Amos chapter 3 and verse 3, can two walk together except they be agreed? So if we walk with God, we have to agree with him. Enoch did this for 300 years. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. Uh, the song, Trust and Obey. Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. We overcome the world by faith. 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. By faith, we stand in the hour of testing. Romans chapter 11, verse 20. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 24. We walk by faith. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. The just shall live by faith. Romans chapter 1, verse 17. And Hebrews chapter 10, verse 38. We resist the devil by faith. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 and verse 9. Faith by faith, we have access to God. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 12, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 19 and 20. By faith, we fight a good fight. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. By faith, we run the race. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. <clears throat> what is, whatever is not of faith is sin. Romans chapter 14, verse 23. By faith, Enoch 
was translated, taken over, that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him for before he had this testimony that he pleased God. What a testimony this man. For 300 years, he walked with God and God took him. What a, a testimony for us that we can walk with God every day and serve him with joy and gladness. Let's bow for a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord, for Enoch that walked with you. Help us, Lord, to walk with you today. <laughs> I pray, Lord, if there's one that's watching by way of this program that they're not saved, that they would turn to you and realize they're a sinner and trust you that you died, were buried and rose again, that they might be saved. And if they just but call upon you, they can have eternal life. And they're, if they're confused about salvation, give us a call here at Bethel Baptist Church, 519-426-8421. We'd be glad to show them from the scripture how they could be saved and have a home in heaven. We pray these things in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, have a great day.